What's good, everybody? We are back with some more Rules of Survival today. We got a little miniature tutorial for you guys. We're going to have a couple videos in the series. So the first one is going to be how to get anywhere on Gilly Island from the plane. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, some of you probably already know this method, but basically how to stretch your landing is the term that most people would use for it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then in a later video, we're going to show you guys how to also beat everyone to the ground. Both of these are really useful, mainly because if you're going to a spot with a ton of people at it, then obviously you're going to want to be the first person to the ground because you get the gun first. Whoever gets the gun first usually wins the gunfight. So we'll be doing that one second in this little mini-series. And in this one, I'll show you guys how to stretch your landings in a couple of different ways. Uh, so make sure to drop a like down below if you guys are enjoying the videos and subscribe if you're new. We hit 800,000 subscribers on YouTube last night. Absolutely ridiculous. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving. So this, guy, this is actually going to be a really good example. Especially going right down the middle, we're going to be able to land anywhere on Gilly Island. So obviously you're going to want to go somewhere that actually has stuff. For our, for our purposes, we're going to say observatory. You're not really ever going to need to get to that area or to this area. You might be, need to stretch to Squirrel Depot, but if you're trying to get somewhere just to get really, really good loot, this is a great way to do it, especially if you're a beginner and you don't want to have to worry about close range battle towards the beginning. So first of all, we're going to want to wait till we're perfectly perpendicular. What that's going to look like is you want to make it so that you're looking directly at the side of the plane, then once the little arrow up top matches up with your marker, that's when you're going to drop. So we're almost there. Three, two, one. So we're going to turn, aim directly at it, go as flat as possible. Actually, not as far as I thought it was going to be. And then as soon as it gives you the opportunity to parachute, you're going to spam that F button. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was going to let me go that soon. So with this, we're probably actually going to be way past uh observatory so basically what you do is you press the forward button press backwards one time and then press forward again this is going to extend your landing time by about three times as much as it would have before and essentially it's going to let you carry really 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 far without having much downward motion uh, so I think I actually could have pulled my parachute a little bit earlier and we would have been able to go farther. As you can see, we are going down very, very slowly. Now we're going forward relatively slowly as well, but this is going to let you stretch your landing to the max and basically allow you to land anywhere that you want to on Gilly Island. So the reason this works is whenever you give it that backswing and swing forward again, it basically takes away 90% of your downward movement and once that happens, oh my gosh, is this going to, well, we would have made it to observatory, but this, <laughs> this structure appeared out of nowhere. All right, we're going to, we're going to give it one more try. I'm going to play out this game real quick. And then after that, we'll, uh, we'll give it another try. <laughs> And now I'm getting cross mapped by somebody who shouldn't even be able to see me. Alright, so on this one we're going to use a little bit of a different example. I'm not going to be able to make it to observatory because A, your observatory is at a higher elevation. And B, the basically the landing zone is too far to the left. But I am thinking we could probably make it to Spawn Island primarily due to the fact that it's at a super low elevation and that it's a little bit closer than observatory is. So part of the thing that you got to factor in whenever you are trying to stretch this far is that elevation plays a really, really big role on where you're able to land. Basically, th what this does, it uh, blah, 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 blah. It allows you to drop slower than you normally would. But the thing is, if you're dropping to a higher elevation, then you've got to factor that in whenever you're taking into account how far you're trying to go. So, one thing I just now realized is I can basically spam my parachute button so I can parachute as soon as humanly possible. Whoa! Alright, so we're going to immediately swing back and then forward. I think we're going to be able to make it to Spawn Island. Now, the thing is, we're moving forward pretty slowly. But we're moving downward just as slowly. So we're 1,300 meters out. 
I'm not sure how high we are. So worst case scenario right now, we're going to probably land in the water. We might be able to make it there. I, I'll be surprised. That's I think that was over 2,000 meters was the distance that we were going to, but Spawn Island is, I believe, the lowest elevation possible because it's right at water level, and there's nowhere on the island that's actually at water level. So it looks like we're actually going to be able to make it there. If we do, it's going to be pretty impressive. One thing to note whenever you're trying to do this do not twist side to side. If you twist side to side, it'll immediately ruin your carry and make you start heading downward. You basically just want to have your key pointed directly forward the entire time without moving side to side. And I know that'll be tougher to do on mobile than it is on PC, but if you can get it down, like it, like you guys can see, you can get just about anywhere on the map from the plane. That is assuming the plane's either going like straight down the middle or to the side that you're trying to go. So we're going to have all of Spawn Island to ourselves because of using this strategy. Now, one little tip. Um, I'll show you guys in the next one, actually. Oh, and it dropped us a little bit early. We would have, If we weren't over water, we would have landed on Spawn Island, but uh, it just decided to randomly drop us in the water. So we'll swim an extra 20 meters and then make it to Spawn Island. So I'm going to show you guys one more tip that's going to be a little more practical for people that are actually trying to go to a specific place but you realize you're actually gonna be short of where you needed to be. It's an easy way to stretch your landing without necessarily having to slow yourself down. And as you can see, perks of landing at Spawn Island, especially when nobody else is able to land there, we are absolutely decked out, leaving Spawn Island with an AN-94, plenty of rifle ammo, and eight times a shotgun, level two helmet, level three backpack, like, oh my gosh, the whole island to ourself, kind of unfair. Guys, this last strategy is going to be what we call the mini stretch, or at least what I call it. So we're going to be going to Bitter Lake. It's not really that far away, so it isn't going to require much of a stretch. We are probably going to have to still go perpendicular because it's a decent way off. But once we get there, I'm pretty sure we should be able to land. I'm trying to go for the top of the three-story, and yeah, we are plenty close enough to go for that. So we're going to go ahead and drop. We're going to be aiming for the three-story. I'm going to intentionally be a little bit short so that we got to use our mini stretch and hopefully I get this right the first time and don't have to go play a whole game and then come back again to actually show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we're aiming. Obviously, we're going to be short. Um, actually, okay, now we're going to be short, I think. Dang it. I don't know that we are. So let me show you guys. Yes, we are going to be short. Basically, if you give it a little twist side to side, it's automatically going to extend for you. And I am going to be one of the last people of three people to land here. And because of that, I'm probably going to die to this dude with a shotgun. Nope, I'm not. He's pretty bad. I'm pretty bad. We're both pretty bad. What the? It wouldn't give me the angle. What? And he should have killed me. Did he not get the ammo? Come through, bud. Come through, bud. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, a little mini twist. So, uh, <laughs> that, uh, I guess that made my point. Dude with the shotgun must not have gotten the ammo because he did not take any shots. That was an interesting decision. Anyways, that's the mini stretch. We're going to go ahead and play out the rest of this game. Uh, I believe there's probably one person still left up on the roof. Headshot. There we go. Ooh, 90. Holy crap. Found him. <laughs> So that is going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the squad if you guys are new. 
Comment down below any other tutorials you might want to see on the channel, and I will see you guys next time.